Hit it, boys. Hey guys, welcome to How To Be Fancy. I'm Heather and today I'm probably the most excited I have been to do a video in a long time. And that's because I had a special delivery yesterday. Over on Besame Cosmetics for about the past year, they have been teasing an Agent Carter collection. And like any committed makeup sleuth, I have been following the clues for an entire year. I even got the boy in on it. He figured most of them out um, because let's face it, I'm too impatient to figure this stuff out. Just give me the makeup already. A week or so ago, I got a mysterious email that led me to a link that led me to a thing that said add to cart and I have no idea what's in this box, but I bought it and here she is. So today we're gonna be opening this box that I can only assume includes the Agent Carter collection. I don't really know for certain and I've been avoiding spoilers for the past like 24, 36 hours um, because I didn't want to know what was inside until we got a chance to sit down and share this moment together. Like I didn't even paint my nails so if I do any close-ups you're gonna get like some really funky colorful nails. So now that you and I are here in the same place together, let's open a box. So excited. Well, the first thing in here is my receipt so that's exciting. <laughs> As you can see here, we have another little newsprint, which is how they've been giving clues this entire time. So this is very similar to the Snow White collection in that they give you like a whole little um, Besame Bugle, which is their little newsletter that they put together. Packaging. I've got a cat like going insane with all the packaging I just threw on the floor. And here, my friends, we have a little box sneakily wrapped in craft paper. And here is the little box, the little kit. This is what I saw when I saw the email. This is what it looks like. It had this picture and no other clues. Let's take off this outer packaging. Ooh, this is really pretty. It's like a leather bound little jewelry box. It's got a little faux keyhole here on it. Open that up. Ooh, it's really nice inside. It's got like this faux suede with the little SSR stamp in it. That's super cool. It's got a photo of Howard. And a little letter. Into the letter, it says, Peggy, say hello to your newest pieces of tech, courtesy of Stark Industries. For security purposes, it will appear to be an ordinary jewelry box. Pull that tab on the side to uncover the real gems. Three lipsticks that pack a real punch. To make our tech as convincing as possible, these products will resemble the popular cosmetics brand, Besame. To the public, these look like three top-notch lipstick tubes, but the numbers on the front let you know what they really do. So in here, jewelry box, empty, um, picture of Howard, handsome as ever, and you pull this little tab, and one of them has fallen out, but you can see that inside here are three little lipsticks. And the first one is Sweet Dreams. Um, the second is Forget Me Not, and the third one is Always Be True. So this is the bit in the film when I'm gonna read the magical code, and if you'd rather not know the answer, you might wanna go ahead and skip on over to the end. So number 102 is Sweet Dreams, a neutral red lipstick suitable for everyday wear. Careful with this one, a single kiss on the lips and your date is out like a light. Packaging on this is absolutely precious. I'm so glad that they decided to do a special packaging as opposed to the normal Besame packaging, which is beautiful in its own right, but it's fun to have something a little different. On one side you have the engraving of the Besame logo, and then on the other side you have the Marvel logo, and then of course when you twist it up you've got Besame logo on the side as per usual. It's got the same bullet cut that they have, which I absolutely love. It makes me um, love their lipsticks the most out of any traditional kind of lipstick. And then on the bottom of this, you have another little SSR stamp. It's got the AC 102, which is Sweet Dreams. And it also says Red Velvet. So I'm not sure if this Sweet Dreams Red Velvet, I'm not sure the difference between the name there. I'm actually wearing um, Besame Red Velvet. I have a, one of their tiny little samples of it that I absolutely love. So if this is in fact um, just a duplicate of Red Velvet, I would be a happy camper because it's a full size and I would love to have that. The next special weapon is 103 Forget Me Not. It is a natural rose shade that looks like your lips, but better. If someone spills the beans during a mission, I know it'd never be you. A single kiss on the lips and they won't remember the last 12 hours. There's a lot of kissing happening in this espionage. 
So this shade looks a lot like Dusty Rose. Again, it's one that I have in a tiny little travel size. It's a really pretty shade. It's a deep kind of mauve color, so very pretty addition. And the last one is 104 Always Be True, a highly pigmented and saturated red, dense, bright, and deep. Sometimes you don't have the luxury of good cop, bad cop. One kiss on the lips with this shade and no one will be able to lie to you. So this one is a very kind of bright, true red. And on the bottom of this one, it says Red Hot Red, which is another one of the best May shades, but I don't actually have this one. So this is a fun one to have. I'm a little bit surprised that Victory Red wasn't in this collection or that they didn't create any kind of new shades for this. So that's a tiny bit disappointing, but the good news is, is I don't have any of these in full size. So I'm perfectly content with this. But if you were going to order this, not knowing what was inside at all, it would be kind of a shame to get products that you already owned in full size. But you do get the gorgeous packaging, you do get the fun little notes and boxes, and you do get this, which I think I will probably go ahead and use to store all of my Besame lipsticks in because I have a few and it would be fun to keep them all in the same place. So that's all for my unboxing today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you plan on trying to get something from the Agent Carter collection. Um, I'm very curious to see what else comes out over the next few days, weeks, um, months maybe. I don't know, Snow White I feel like took a really, really long time for them to like release the full collection. Um, so I'm not sure if this will or will not be the same way. It is a few extra dollars to get the limited edition packaging, but it it's a lot of fun. I think it's gorgeous and um, for me, Best May can almost do no wrong. I love supporting them. And so um, anytime that I get a chance to and I'm able to, that is where I'd like for my dollars to be spent. That's gonna be it for me for today, guys. I love you all very much. If you need more of me before next week, you can always find me over on Instagram at howtobefancy. I'd love to see you over there. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.